Welcome back, Math Grizz. Today, we're going to learn how to multiply a fraction by a whole number. Let's go ahead and start with 6 tenths times 3. That simply means 6 tenths 3 times. 1 time, 2 times, 3 times. Which means you can either do 6 plus 6 plus 6 or 6 times 3 over 10. We know 6 times 3 is 18, so it's 18 over 10. Now, 18 over 10 is an improper fraction. Now we need to divide 18 divided by 10 to turn it into a mixed number. 10 fits inside of 18 once because 10 times 1 is 10. You subtract and get 8, you would so have you have 8 tenths because we saw that we had a remainder of 8 and we were working in tenths. So now our improper fraction of 18 tenths is actually 1 and 8 tenths. However, 8 tenths can be simplified by dividing the top and the bottom by 2, which gives us 4 fifths. So our answer is actually 1 whole and 4 fifths. Hmm, what exactly does that mean? Let's take a look at this problem in a picture. Let's take a look at this picture. We have six tenths three times. So we need to make sure that each one is colored in six times. Now we're gonna try to make holes. We're gonna take these top four to fill up this one to make a hole. And we're gonna take the other two and fill up the bottom one. Now we notice that we can make one hole but on the bottom we can only make eight tenths. We notice we can simplify by dividing the top and the bottom by two and we get four fifths. So our answer is one and four fifths. So let's go ahead and try four times two thirds. That simply means two thirds four times. So now that we have it four times, we can add or do four times two because we had four twos over three. Four times two is eight over three. Eight thirds is an improper fraction, which means that we have to go ahead and divide in order to make it a mixed number by doing eight divided by three. Three fits in twice because that would be six. You subtract and get two. So it'd be out of two thirds. The reason we have two thirds is because we had a remainder of two and we were working in thirds. So eight thirds is actually two holes and two thirds. So now we're gonna take a look at this with a picture. We know that four times two thirds means two thirds four times and we need to make holes. So we're gonna go ahead and take this top one here and bring it down to make a hole. Take that one and bring it down to make another hole. So we have to get rid of the top one now since we shared it and we have two holes and on the bottom we have two thirds, which was right, two and two thirds. So let's try five times four six. That means four six five times. Once, two times, three times, four times, and five times. So now we can do four plus four plus four plus four plus four, or we can do five times four which is going to be 20 over six. And we know that 20 over six is an improper fraction. So we're gonna go ahead and have to divide 20 divided by six. So 20 divided by six, six fits in three times because that would be 18. We subtract and get two, so it would be out of two, six. And it's out of two six because we had a remainder of two and we were working in parts of six. But we're not done. We can simplify two six by dividing the top and the bottom by two. The top would be a one and the bottom would be a three. So our actual answer is not three and two six, but three and one third. So 26 is actually three and one third. And now I wanna show you this in a picture format. So five times four six means four six five times. We need to make holes, so we'll take those two and fill up that one and cross those off. We'll take those two and fill up the next one and then cross that off. We can take the bottom two and fill up that one and get rid of those. So now we have three holes and on the bottom we have two six. 
but we know we can also simplify 2 6 by dividing the top and the bottom by 2 and getting 1 3rd. So our answer was correct, 3 and 1 3rd. Let's go ahead and try 5 times 1 3rd. That means 1 3rd 5 times. Now we can go ahead and which means we're going to have to divide to turn it into a mixed number by doing five divided by three. Three fits inside of five once because three times one is three and you subtract and get two, so it would be one and two thirds. We have two thirds because we have a remainder of two and we're working in parts of three. So we know that five thirds is actually one whole and two thirds. And we can see that's true by looking at this picture. We can unite the three yellows by putting them together and making the one whole. And then on the bottom we see we have two thirds if we were to put them together. So our answer was correct, one and two thirds. Thank you for watching Math Grid and remember, never stop growling. <laughs>